Welcome back to Graphic Island Tutorial. Drag the image to our artboard and lock it. Now by using pen tool, draw the outline of the product. While drawing outlines, make sure the boundary is fully closed. If there is any gap on the boundary line, we cannot make a proper shape. Keep drawing outlines until we cover the whole shape. At a time, we'll draw the inside shapes as well. Now select them all, go to Edit, Copy, Paste in Place. Now change the outline color, go to Object and hide it. Select boundary lines by pressing shift key. Now go to toolbar and select shape builder tool, change the color and make a shape here. Select this and fill with color. Now select and remove the outlines. Now select them all. Edit, copy, paste in place and change the color. Remove the fill color and change the outline colors only. Now go to object and hide it. Now select them and undo selection by pressing shift key. Take shape builder tool, change the color and make shapes with different colors. The reason behind choosing different color and making shape so that we can easily identify the shape. Now delete those unwanted extended lines. Do multiple selections of the line by pressing shift key. Now from here increase the stroke of the line and change the outline color to white. Yeah, it seems fine. Now go to object and expand it. Similarly select these two lines by pressing shift key, increase the stroke. Change the color. And expand it. Now select them. And from here give transparency so that we can see the uh, original image and take out other necessary shape. Now draw for thread lines. Now unlock all the objects and remove this background. Now select them 
and remove that transparency. By using Shape Builder tool, draw shapes for the shadows, change the color, Now select those lines by pressing shift key, copy, paste in place, change the color, and increase the stroke, it seems fine. Now expand it. and lock it now select those lines behind it by pressing shift key now by doing right mouse click bring them to the front and increase the stroke Now go to a stroke option and here give the values and expand it. Make duplicate by pressing Alt key and drag it and change the color for this. Now select this lower object and bring it front. Now remove the fill color and keep outlines only. Increase the outline stroke. Change the color and expand it. By using rectangle tool Let's draw a background. Now change the color for this background and send it to back and lock it. Change the color of the shapes. I have some ready-made color here. Select multiple objects by pressing shift key and change the color. Similarly keep on applying color to the shapes. Now do multiple selection by pressing shift key and expand it. Change the color for this. Now select the lower objects and change the color to black and give transparency here. Now draw a small rectangle here. Now make duplicate by pressing Alt key. Now control D and repeat the shapes. So here we'll develop a pattern shape. I am not using direct pattern option for this because it takes more time and it becomes complex at the end. So it's better to go with this process. Now drag the shape by pressing Alt key and make duplicate. Now control plus D on your keyboard and make duplicates continue like this. Now select them and change the color. Now select the pattern and from here give transparency. Now drag the pattern over the design.
and leave it here double click on the pattern and delete those outside extended patterns so the pattern which is coming out from the boundary line just select them and delete it remove all the pattern shape which exceeds the design boundary and make it clean and now here draw a shape for some shades now drag it by pressing alt key and make duplicate and manipulate the shape and fit it perfectly and reflect it now drag once again by pressing alt can make duplicate now select them and change the color Now take this ellipse tool and draw an ellipse, change the color of the ellipse. So here we applied gradient color. Now place it here. So this is very important to play with the gradient color to make a perfect 3D effects. From here by changing value you can control gradient color. Now make duplicate by pressing Alt key and place it. So for this we'll change color in gradient so that it can perfectly match up with the shape. Delete this one. Now replace this one. Make duplicate by pressing Alt key. Now it is perfect. Take ellipse tool and draw an ellipse here now change the color of the ellipse now make duplicate of the ellipse by pressing ctrl c and ctrl shift b and drag it down if you like this tutorial you can subscribe our channel and hit like button thank you